Hello, welcome to season one, episode one of Game Time. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> You're starting it already. We're starting it. <laughs> excellent, excellent. So uh, thanks for joining us on uh, what is intended to be on YouTube. And uh, let me start off by saying my name is Jay White, and uh, I've, I've been blogging for a little while on Jay's Wargaming Madness. And uh, I figured that it would be time, good time for, for me and my, my good friends here that we've been gaming together for quite a while to, to try this uh, video stuff. So, Jay White, today I'm drinking Sculpin India Pale Ale, which is a, a great little India Pale Ale here. And of course, this is going to be a show about drinking and gaming. Uh, so the shenanigans will, will ensue. Uh, so that's me, John. Hey, my name is John Lance. Uh, today I'm drinking a Hop Stupid. Uh, Super heavy on the hops on the nose, a little malt there, T pretty tasty, goes smooth, enjoy it a lot. Excellent. Excellent, my name's Roy Scaife, I've been gaming with these guys, uh, probably going on 15 years now, pretty close, pretty close to 15 years. We can round. Round, <laughs> we're rounding up a little bit. Uh, today I'm drinking Tricero Hops, excellent IPA, highly recommended for anybody out there who's looking for a good IPA. Great. Alrighty. So uh, before we uh, get into our, our discussion that we do before our, our actual game, uh, we will be playing Dead Man's Hand today, so a little bit of a, an Old West theme episode today. Uh, great miniature game, miniature skirmish game, and of course uh, we'll show you an example of how to play it, uh, kind of where all the setup came from, and of course we'll actually play through the game, and, and of course Rod, uh, Ron, Ron Burgundy, I don't know who's so long, I'm talking to Ron Burgundy, but uh, Roy here and John are going to play that, and uh, you know, take you through the various scenes. But first, I'd like to highlight the fact that, uh, you know, Kickstarter is a great thing, and I think as gamers, we all kind of keep an eye on Kickstarter for, for interesting new things coming up. One of the things I've recently done is I, I actually uh, put my support behind something called Viking Horde Papercraft uh, by Adam Walker Studio. They're in Hobart, Australia, down in Tasmania, actually out of Tasmania. And uh, it, it, it looks just like a really interesting thing, right? It, it's, it's paper Viking ships with paper Vikings on there. No glue, no tape needed to put them together. Really some interesting folding techniques. Uh, but essentially get these big Viking ships and, you know, play with your, play with your kids, play with your friends. Um, you know, it's not very expensive. It's in Australian dollars. So if you're in the U.S. or certainly if you're in, in Europe, you can, uh, you can get it pretty cheap, I think. Uh, and get a bunch of ships. There's three clans at least, I believe. I had a recent email with them confirming the third clan. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to have four ships from each plan, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to that one. It should be shipping, I think, in February. Anyway, uh, moving on. So, so uh, speaking of Kickstarter, uh, John Lance here had, did the Ogre Kickstarter, which I think, uh, unless you've been hiding under a rock, everybody has heard of. Uh, it was a huge Kickstarter. Had a had probably the most bonuses and extras that I've ever seen added to a game, and, and he's been uh, kind enough to bring it over today to, to show it to us. Sure, so unfortunately, we're going to need to move our beers, because this thing is <laughs> ridiculously large. <laughs> Ogre size. It's, it's, yeah. I'm going to use our little ledge. It's <laughs> There's no way I could spill my beer. We can edit it. <laughs> <laughs> that never happened. So, so here is Steve Jackson's Ogre. Oh my god! Clocks in at 28 pounds. <laughs> Takes the entire shot. Uh, you sure you get it for 100 bucks on the Kickstarter? Spend another 50 for a dolly because you're going to need it. <laughs> it's it's large and in charge. Um, just the the amount of air in here gives oh a decent God. amount of vacuum pressure. So Jeez. it comes as counters, like you know punch counters that you've seen before and. It took me about two days coming home after work, you know, playing with the kids to punch out everything. Okay, this is this is just the beginning. This is actually the fun part. It's a uh, kind of like paper craft, but um, you know, cardstock, cardboard craft, cardboard craft. <laughs> you, you punch it out. You make all your little tanks, the ogres. Okay. And you had mentioned, so I'm looking at this here, so John, clearly you've gone through and, and put everything together at this point, right? Yes, uh, it would be nice if it came this way, it takes, <laughs> it takes quite a few hours, but um, honestly, the, the, this is pretty fun, like, if, if you're into that. Like, if not, it's going to be very tedious, but um, I, I enjoyed it. So, well, I know you texted me a picture of the box that came in, which was just a shipping box, but uh, clearly there was a stack on top. So of there's, there. there's so much cardstock here that they couldn't actually, okay, giant box, 20 pounds, you, they couldn't fit it in the box. <laughs> so you had another <laughs> inch and a half of additional counters to, to punch out. You know, thankfully, you know, once it's all punched out, it fits in, and it, honestly, the compartments, um, the way they've organized it, it's extremely well done. Um, so, maps, more maps than you know what to do with. I'm, I'm not gonna save Roy the, the <laughs> trouble of the space. <laughs> 
Or is it, he's just over here hand screwing. Right, right. That's okay. Look! It's a best event like this. <laughs> More cardstock. Again, you, all this needed to get punched out. Um, lots of little vehicles and counters. It's all hex based. I first played this game, I think I was a freshman or sophomore in high school, uh, down in LA at, at Orcon back in the day. Um, there was miniatures, we, we used miniatures for it, and it was really fun, and I'm curious how it plays today, um, mm. because some of the mechanics look like they're still from the 70s, 80s, I mean it's the, it's the same game, um, and I know I, my personal pace have moved to faster, more rapidly flowing games, but True. Everything I've heard says it's still going to be fun, and I'm hoping my nostalgia doesn't like overwhelm me, and I'm like, oh, it's just because I was like a freshman. Lots um, of great things came out of the 70s. Think of like yeah. Star Wars, right? The original episodes came out, they're far better than that new craft they did, right? <laughs> Even my son doesn't like Jar Jar. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh you said He's your name right. out loud. Okay, we'll let it die out, people. <laughs> He's six. Right. Anywho, I'm, I'm super excited to play this. Um, I want to I want to relive the, you know that that fun I had back then and create new fun and there's more than enough stuff here to create yeah. new fun for for years um, yeah so I'm I'm stoked to play this maybe in a future episode we'll get together yeah, yeah. Uh, roll through it that could uh, be our next episode there we yeah. go there we go but well, I, I was gonna compliment you on your organizational skills with these tanks no but, uh, or ogres sorry Steve and his team put this together extremely well all the ogres all the tanks are have their own compartments, everything's labeled um, on the bottom, it's text and picture. Um, in here, again, text, you know where everything goes, and if you don't, they have a PDF online that says, okay, okay, really, here's where it goes. Mark 5, Mark 5, and then on the bottom, over here, here so Mark, five. Mark 5. And I'll flip right back in. Look at that. Wow. It works out nice. That's, That's impressive. Smart. That's <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Dang, I don't, I mean, I'm looking forward to playing this. This is going to be a lot of fun. For sure. Yeah. Kicking myself in the butt for not being on the Kickstarter. So so good news is, so the Kickstarter obviously over. Um, nice little Benny is everyone that was on the Kickstarter. You see this names wrapping around. Yeah. Every Everyone here was <laughs> nice. a sponsor. Your name could have been there, Jerry. Could have been there in um, like six point font. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Anywho, the, the good news is this, this is the designer edition where they just stacked it full because the Kickstarter broke a million dollars. Sure. Just, so wow. much uh, funding came in. Okay. But they are coming out with just the regular edition okay. for everyone else, and I think you're going to be happy with that. Well, but we're yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, that's that's awesome. Thanks for bringing it over to me. No problem. problem. It's just very very cool. Yes. Yeah, so uh, you know, great that we we did this and, and got a chance to look at this. Of course, in the future episodes, we'll be taking kind of the the, the first ten or fifteen minutes of, of each show to. Highly interesting things, whether it's new products or Kickstarters or whatever we want to, whatever we think is cool and, and more people should know about. Uh, since there's just so much information out there these days, it's hard to keep track of everything. I know, you know, I miss the Ogre Kickstarter. Um, I think I'm going to drill some holes on the top <laughs> to let yeah. the air out. It, just, just getting a reseal takes some time. Here we go. Yeah. There we go. We're wow. still in the Wow. Yes. That is just. It, it'll set. It. It'll set up over time. Yeah. Okay, let's get our beard back on the table. That should probably do it for today. We'll uh, get right on to some Dead Man's Hand here and uh, we'll, we'll take you through how to play it. Uh, just a very simple example. And then John and Roy here. Uh, not Ron Burgundy uh, is gonna, they're going to throw down and uh, they'll take you through the through the game. What's interesting with this particular game, one of the things that I really like about it is each really full game is is really three scenes. So you have an opening scene, okay. sorry, a middle second scene, and then a final scene. And of course, you could play each individual one separately if you wanted to, uh, but. You know, playing all three scenes together generally is about an hour long or an hour and a half long if you're really slow, like people we know. Um, <laughs> but uh, just a really great skirmish game, and, and what's even better about it is, you know, a lot of miniature games you get into, right? There's, there's not a lot of support for, for terrain and miniatures yeah. and stuff. And I mean, between foreground and, and great escape games, the rules and the figures they offer, I mean, you can have an exceptional layout with, with all pre painted stuff that's actually really nice pre painted yeah. stuff, and it looks great. Yeah. A little bit of effort. And, and, yeah, it doesn't take table. too much input to, to get yeah. to that level to have a, a spectacular setup. And Absolutely. It, and, it, and it's the best part. It's a fun game. It's, 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 really it's fun, fun too. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's not nice. Looks great. <laughs> and it's fun. Yeah. Excellent. So we'll see you here in a second. Cheers. <laughs>